Hello and welcome to this quick tip on using the pattern region for drum programming in Logic Pro. I'm going to go through the basic steps to get you started and then leave you to experiment with all the features. The first thing you need to do is choose a drum kit. This could be electric or acoustic and you can change it later but the sounds might not map correctly from one kit to another so best to get as close to the sound you want to start with. Next, we're going to add a pattern region. This is as simple as right clicking in the tracks area and selecting pattern region. Double click the region to close and open it. There are basically two modes you can edit in, note on off or effects. Let's start with note on off. In this mode, you can click each block to add a note. Notice that by default, we have 16 steps for each bar. You can change this on the right hand side using this menu. Also notice the pattern region is only showing you one bar of beats, but this has been repeated over four bars as you can see in the tracks area. You can shorten or lengthen this as you would with a MIDI region. Let's add a quick kick and snare pattern. Notice there is a preview button so you don't need to play the whole track to hear your programming efforts. And now 16 note hi-hat hits. Notice you can click and drag to do this. Holding down shift will make sure the mouse stays on that row. Let's have a look at the other type of input you can control. Instead of note on off, you can edit, for example, the velocity of beat by clicking on the cells. You can also change this to affect gate, offset, and importantly, repeat. You can use this to create stutter or build effects in your tracks. Have a play with the other options to create your own unique sound, including this button, which can change the way the pattern plays through. Finally, I just want to show you the Pattern Browser, which lets you import a ready-built groove, but listen carefully to make sure it fits the drum kit you've chosen or move the notes accordingly. I hope you found that useful. A like and a subscribe is always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.